Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in long data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding Teams power users using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Microsoft interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question says, write a query to find the top two power users who sent the most messages on the Microsoft Teams in August of 2022. Display the IDs of these two users along with the total number of messages they sent. Output the result in descending count of the messages. And there is an assumption that no two users has sent the same number of messages in August of 2022, right? So basically this assumption means that like we can solve this question very easily. Had they not mentioned this assumption, then we would have to use the ranking functions, either of row number, range rank or rank. But since they have already mentioned that no two users has sent the same number of messages, we can, you know, just order by the count in decreasing manner and just limit the output to two rows, right? So here is an example of the messages table. So it has five different columns, message ID, sender ID, receiver ID, contain date. And if you look at the example, so like for example, in this, right? So August of 2022. So this row is already eliminated because this is from June of 2022. So now let's see 3601 has sent two messages in August of 2022, right? And then 4500 has sent one message. So these two rows should be in the output, right? And that is what we have. So basically what we need to do is from this table called messages, the first thing that we should do is we should only keep those rows where the year is 2022 and the month is 08, right? So to do this, we say, okay, from this table called messages, let's keep only those rows where extract year from the column called sent date and that should be equal to 2022 right and the month should be august right so extract and then month from sent date right and that should equal to 08 right so august of 2022 let me go ahead and run this to see what happens Right. So now if you see here, right, so all these rows have August of 2022, right, August of 2022. Once we have this, then what we can do is we can simply group by the sender ID and then count the number of messages, right? So count message ID. So we can do group by, right, group by sender ID and then return sender, sender ID, right, and count the message id column right and it should be aliased as whatever is required in the output so it is message count right so we write message count right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it there's different senders and the number of messages they sent in august of 2022 now we only are required to keep two rows right the top two rows so what we can do is we can order by right order by message count in decreasing manner and since based on the assumption that no two users have sent the same number of messages we can simply go ahead and write limit to it will keep the top two rows had now if you think about it you might understand that okay if this assumption was not there then what we need to do is once you group by the center ID and you have for each sender ID how many messages they sent, then you need to perform a ranking. Now you might ask why ranking? Like wouldn't it be, you know, if you do limit two, it is anyway going to keep the top two rows, but it is possible like, you know, when the person is saying that or the question is not mentioning that no two users has sent the same number of messages, right? So it is possible then there could be a couple of ties in between, right? So maybe uh, two users have sent the same amount of messages. So if you do limit two, it will have the two rows, but you know, if the question is not clear that do you want only two rows or the top two? So top two can be, okay, 100 messages. And then, you know, maybe there is a tie, another person, 100 messages. But what is the next highest? Maybe 98 messages, right? So that is why going through ranking in that case would be a better 
approach but here since assumption is mentioned we should up go by this like this is the simplest method uh okay so let me run this let's see what we are getting so now we have you know the top two rows let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it very simple question all we had to do was you know make sure that from this table the year and month is august of 2022 and then we grouped by the sender id counted the different number of messages ordered by different message count in decreasing manner and limited the number of rows in the output to two so yeah, let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video